Bhagavad Gita. This is the quote 10. The holiest of the holy books of the Hindus. It is so much of honey. It melts in the mouth the way you look at it. But to look at the Bhagavad Gita, you need strength. Otherwise, it is like the ordinary people, they are seeing, they are not able to observe. If you know to observe, you can see the beauty lying deep down, touching the bottom of the ocean. Pearls and only pearls. Bhagavad Gita quotes, if you don't fight for what you want, don't cry for what you lost. When I looked at the court, I saw mangoes and Tejaswini was the storeroom in charge. She told me one, two boxes full of mangoes arrived and I asked her, where is the mango for me? Then she thought, oh, it is overripe. I said, never mind, because I fought for it. I got she rushed up and brought the mangoes. This is the mango, you can see it. I was shocked to see the mangoes. These are the mangoes, they are selling it in the cities. And these mangoes are not ripened in the tree. It was plucked much before that. If it is ripened, this goes deep inside. And it's just like as if you have done a facial, the skin will be just thick, tight and shiny. And they put chemicals, ripen it up, color it up and sell it in city. People buy this, so they get sick. But in our village, right from the tree, when you pluck, wow, you can see the juice oozing out. <laughs> Not only the mangoes, almost every fruit when I found them, when the chepakai is called goa, wow, juicy. The most beautiful part was the lemon. I have never come across lemon right from the plant pluck poo, the juice of salt, it just jumps out as if it is a fountain. If you don't fight for what you want, I coming to that. The oozing happens. They say if you don't fight, first of all, the fight language came from the materialistic world. The fight language came from the slavery language of the people who have been dragged into the cities in the name of industrial revolution, like flies. If you don't fight for what you want, fight the name fight came otherwise. When there is a family where there is a fight, you do not know how to fight because from morning to night, from sunrise to sunset, there is enough beautiful work because the family with the joint family and the family tree always discusses and then puts each one into that one section. And the family knows much before the rains come. They are like the astrologers. They know which time. Much before the rains come, the ponds and the lakes and the rivers and wells all are thoroughly cleaned so that water filters and moves into those areas yes. and those waters are again utilized for taking bath of washing vessels 
and then diverted again into another kind of plants, vegetables, fruits to grow. Everything is beautifully realigned and every day everybody goes to that area to check it. Just, just check it's going on because it was like the Japanese family, a family which takes care of a temple. They were there for 800 years, 900, 1000 years. When a catering company has got a family history of 800 years, people love to go there. They don't have to bother to find out. They don't have to fight out to find out whether if they eat that food, whether they'll fall sick. Because 800 years of the family tradition, they have found what food goes in spring, summer, autumn, winter. That is the menu laid out on the table. You can just pick it up. You can go back healthy. They are doctors of the society. If you don't fight for what you want, now you have to fight because your family has been broken in front of your own eyes, molested and raped. And you don't find even the joint family to join it back because all the swing machines have been thrown out. Nobody stitches like the American ladies on our wedding anniversary, 65th wedding anniversary. When all the media went and asked her, what is the secret of your success, 65 years together, she said nothing, swing machine, what is swing machine? And whenever we fight, we stitch it back. We don't throw it out. Yes. Nowadays children throw out divorce. If you don't fight for what you want, now you have to fight. Those days they don't have to fight. But that was a family, the attraction, where it came, I do not know how it was broken. Never mind, it is broken. Now try to stitch it back. It's possible. Stones were thrown at you and collected up and built up back fast, as fast as possible. They are throwing the spitting on you. They did that, they dragged you and your children and your family into the cities in the name of re industrial revolution. Can you believe just to create massive weapons to dump it in Ukraine to test as if it is uh, children's toys. They are thinking you are toys. Collect all those things and build back your family. That was the fight Bhagavad Gita was trying to explain. If you don't fight for what you want, that joining helps you. Don't cry for what you lost. Then the diseases enters. Friendship breaks. When you turn around to look, when you, after your work, we come back. You don't find food on the table. You have to carry money. Money in the city to buy food. But in your joint family, you can walk into any house. In your own family tree, food is laid out. Variety of foods you can know. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, seven days, seven varieties according to the season. Healthy food. Let thy food be thy medicine. If you don't fight for what you want, don't cry for what you lost. You are lost everything. Because you didn't even get a chance to fight. Let us not go back into that history. Even in the schools, they have to fight. They have to steal the question papers to pass the examination. There is no question papers. There is no need to work very hard to study because it has become a way of life in your family tree. The child walks with the father, grandfather. The whole history of 800 years. Turn back to look whether how many years back you have with your family. 800 years, then you are strong. There is no fight without a single shot being fired. Your pyramid stays stronger. That is all is spirituality. That is all is truth. That is all is God. And you are the doctor inside the God. And you can see only orgasmic experience of relationship. No diseases at all. No unemployment at all. And you live 180 years easily, like a 16 year old. Not walking. Not sitting in a car, but jumping and swimming like a scuba diver, climbing the mountains, 
because you don't feel you are climbing a mountain because that is become way of life in your area. Bhagavad Gita quotes 10. If you don't fight for what you want, don't cry for what you lost. <laughs>